the survivalist. He was my favorite tenant, my friend, mechanically inclined, an electronic wizard of sorts, a woodsman, always conscious of the end times, a witness of the decline of Western civilization, a lone voice echoing all he heard from God Almighty, always preparing for Armageddon, for the final battle between the forces of good and evil, when Yahshua, the Messiah, would return. Herein is a glimpse of this man's life. His apartment always looked more like a camp, as though he was more used to living outdoors than indoors, packed in such a way that he could grab what he deemed essential and leave in a hurry. A feeling of hidden survival and escape was always present, and I always liked to kid him of such, and he, not knowing whether I was more a landlord than friend, would tell me he was in the process of cleaning, as if I cared. This is quite a, um, very hilarious. I, I, I like your table, and I like your table legs. Table legs uh, it's very inventive. Table legs. Uh -huh. Yeah, this looks, speak English. So this is a sniper's nest we got here. <laughs> and then we take our sniper rifle, and we aim through this old double-hung window. <laughs> Holy smokes. I'm gonna watch all the walls when I get done here. Are you? Yeah, it'll take another six days. So, about four hours. Take me about two hours to mop the floor. He possessed practical ingenuity. For example, as part of his survival gear for his hidden camp in the woods, he took a solar panel and modified it with a car's voltage regulator enabling it to charge a 12-volt battery or run a radio and or lights. He also made a stand for it and thereby made it portable. All right, here we have a solar panel which has been put together on this tripod here and it actually, Dr. Petchel's radio will be running off of it. Are we ready there, Doc? You're standing in the sunlight. All right. He uses this to charge his battery, which he then can hook up radios to, TVs, other devices. But you get the idea. He's had this for a few years and he's been using it for a few years. Sun's way up here now, wait. We're gonna try to give you a demonstration. The sun's kinda going down now. So it might not have enough sunlight right now. But you get the idea how this is all gonna work. Get that shit out of the way, out of the way, out of the way. Is this it? Yeah. It's so No, it's not enough. Not enough. No, you'll have to come back tomorrow, you see? One day, he took me on a field trip along the floodplains of the Mohawk River. Somewhere in the woods nearby, he had a hidden campsite. The plains were lush with green growth. I had never been there, though my father had told me that my grandfather, his friend, would grow a few acres of vegetables in these rich flatlands, and like work horses, pulled the plow themselves. A nice little flower. Yeah.
There's the river. <laughs> Quite beautiful out here. Yeah, it's good, huh? In the spring, all the icebergs come through here. The place gets full of icebergs. Yeah, I can tell this is driftwood I'm holding. Oh. You got a piece of driftwood? It's totally white. What's that for? A weapon? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you just tell them we can get some rock. I will after I bang them over the brains with this driftwood. Whoever that might be. No, nobody's been out here. There's no footprints. Who would have left footprints? All right. Over here. Some nice stones. There's a whole bunch of round rocks right over here by the street. <coughs> yeah, look at all the rocks. You hear all the birds chirping? Yeah. If there was anybody over here, the birds wouldn't be making noise. I get you. Okay, here, you stay here and collect rocks. And you'll, yeah. Are these good enough? There's some more over Yeah, these way. are perfect. There's a whole bunch of them over here. These are cleaner over this way. I know, but these are nice size. I'll be back. We'll go get the shit and I'll All right. be back. I like people like him. The unique ones. The outsiders. The hermits. The misfits. The loners, the wanderers, the messengers who hear the voice of God, and the sinners who fear the wrath of God, and talk God at any time, day or night. In essence, I see more of God in these shabby, dressed, hidden ones, than the finely suited people who don't see them, or God at all. This last clip is of him tuning his electric guitar, which was plugged into a boombox he modified to act as an amplifier.